Hello, so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. I mean, it is a Chromebook, but still nice. So this is looking like brand new laptop. That's how it's looking. Check here. I mean, even the screen, you know, no fingerprint, no dust, nothing. Uh, the problem with this one, not coming on. Let me press the power button. And nothing it will happen. No picture on the screen, no lights, nothing. Plug in the charger. I mean, we have only one USB-C port. Oh, actually we have two. <laughs> but probably this one with the charging light, it's uh, supposed to charge. Plug in the charger, you have no light. And nothing. And here, here we do have, the meter is coming on. And we have 5 volts, 0 0.1 amps. 0 0.5 amps. Okay, but why this is not working? Do you think the port is faulty? Let's check the port under the microscope. Check that, you can see inside. I mean, every, not every pin, but the middle pins are all broken. You can see them? So this is a charging port job. Now the problem is, I don't think I have the charging port. And the second problem, why on the other port we have only 5 volts? Now let's open the laptop and check what charging port do we have there. Well, the laptop is open. I mean, the board is looking nice. I mean, it looks like on those days everything is on board, including the hard drive, RAM memory. Okay, so we have one port here, one port here. Let's unplug the battery. Plugging back the battery. Good, so the battery has how many volts? 7.7, .7, that's been 8.4 fully charged. Let's uh, lower the current. Yeah, that's fine. And let's try to, uh, to try what? Check here. So every wire has different color. I mean, which is plus, which is minus? Just say the word, which is plus and which is minus? You have one black wire here. That's all what you have, one black. You have two reds. I can't charge the battery. Because I want to see, or I want to check what is the reason why here is like 5 volts. 500 milliamps. Let's unplug the battery. Oh yeah, the current it is going into the battery. Yeah. And that's fine. That's when it's charging, that's when the AC chip is good. Let me try to press the power button. Probably nothing it will happen, no. So, which is plus and which is minus? So probably if the first one is minus, right? The first one. It is minus. It's no minus. <laughs> the first pin is like 7.7 .7 volts. 6.7. And it's black. You can believe that. It's a black wire. Here, first, it's a black wire. So the black wire is actually plus 6.8 volts. I mean, they don't even care about the color. And the red wire, check here, the red wire, I actually have no voltage on it. Yeah, we do have like 3 volts. Actually, they don't even care about the, you know, the color markings. I mean, ground always will be the darkest color. And uh, plus, it will always will be the, you know, like the red one. Yeah, it feels bad. But what we can do. So here we have like four volts, and I don't know why. Try to figure it out how this battery is getting charged. 
4 volts on the coil, but actually 6 volts on the battery, 7 volts. And the input voltage is still 4 volts, uh, 5 volts, 2.7 amps. Yeah, but that's the charging coil. I mean, the coil is mad hot. That's the charging coil. Which doesn't explain. I mean, the coil has like 4 volts. So how this 8.4 volts battery is getting charged? Okay, let's uh, let's analyze on the microscope. Let's see. Okay, so that's the battery. And how, like I said, yeah, like I said, the black wire is plus. The black one, yeah. The red one is no plus, I can assure you, it's only 3 volts here. This one, probably this one is plus, look, it's, I don't know, it's some weird color, 7.8 volts. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Okay, so the voltage just jump out to 14 volts, you can see it? So that's mean it's fine. That's, that, that, that all I was looking for, to charge the battery and see see what will happen and the battery got charged quickly and the voltage jumped to 14 volts good so we know the laptop is good i mean it looks good so all we have to do is to replace the charging port okay this is a strange char charging port and i don't have it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna order uh, a charging port and probably see you on the next video right so we are like one week later and finally i got uh, the charging port i didn't expect it to be that long from london to here which is like one mile so uh, i think it's time to replace the charging port hmm? so how we can do that let's unplug the battery first now let's try to lift the motherboard. I think we have to take the motherboard out because otherwise I cannot access the charging port. Okay, so the motherboard it's out. And there we have the charging port. Let's replace it. So how we can replace it quickly? Okay, so first we have to take out the, the old uh, charging port. I need a bigger nozzle. So, uh, we're going to take the port with 480 degrees. The port is damaged anyway, so 480 degrees Celsius is not a problem. Perfect, so we took the port out, now let's come with some uh, 180 degree solder wire, just to lower the solder uh, temperature. And all what we are doing is we are applying solder where we can. Yeah, we need a little bit of rosin flux. Perfect. Perfect. So now we have, uh, we have everywhere, we have like, uh, you know, the melting temperature, it will be 180 degrees. Now let me grab the new port. So this is the new charging port. So uh, we have uh, solder, we have rosin, everything is fine. I'm gonna come with 300 degrees. Yeah, with 300 degrees, nothing wrong can happen.
you can see the solder is melting uh, yeah we have a problem so the board is too low and the charging port is not going down let me use something to lift the board yeah like that yeah now it's perfect let's try it one more time Perfect, so the port it's on his place. Yeah, all good. Now we can try, you know, with a little bit more solder to you know make it nice and be sure it will stay soldered on place. On the solar iron I have 360 degrees. Perfect. It's a perfect job. Now if you want to clean it, you can do it. We can use a little bit of alcohol. Yeah. Okay, now it's clean. Perfect, and now it's time for testing. Let me grab the USB-C and the meter. Plug in the charger. And the meter, it is coming on. And it's restarting. That's very possible because we have no battery. Let me connect the battery, which is here. battery is connected and it's not restarting anymore and we have 5 volts and yeah 500 milliamps and probably the voltage it will goes up on some point It's taking 2.7 amps, you can see, 4.4 volts. I don't understand why the voltage is not going up. That's strange. Maybe because the battery is too low. Let's try and help the battery. Uh, yeah, one amp is fine. Oh, oh, I forgot. I'm not sure where is the plus and minus there. Let me check the voltage. Six point eight volts. Six point eight. The battery it's eight point four. So this battery is very discharged. Let's wait a little bit and see what is happening with the voltage because it's strange. It is supposed to the voltage for the voltage to goes up in order to lower the current. But it's not happening. No, the board is off. Let's wait a little bit. Okay, on this point, I'm assuming uh, the voltage is normal. I mean, it's just stuck on 5 volts. And the battery voltage is 7.7. .7. 
Uh, I believe it's nothing faulty here. Probably that's how the laptop is designed to work with, uh, you know, 5 volts uh, USB-C. For me, it looks dodgy. I mean, the current is very high. You can see. It's like 2.7 amps. So uh, it's not like it's passing the charging port uh, power limit, but still, you know, I'm losing, like you can see the input voltage is 4.5. I'm losing 0.5 volts on the cable. Now, when I'm saying I'm losing, actually, you know, you can't lose uh, current, but it will get exchanged in heat. So uh, safe to say, you know, our cable is getting warm. That's the reason why, um, you know, the laptops, they have uh, 20 volts on the, on the USB-C. Okay, so let me put back the motherboard and let's see if this uh, laptop is working and charging. Okay, so everything is back in place. Let's see if it's working. We plug the charger. Oh, we didn't plug the battery. It's interesting. The board is restarting without the char the, without the battery. This is strange. Yeah, same story. Let's see if we have picture. So pressing the power button. Okay, you know what? Check here, check here. Now we have 14 volts and 2.7 amps. So the voltage did goes up. And yeah, this is the Chrome uh, menu. We have the charging sign there. Yeah, this is this is like uh yeah, so it's all good. It's working and charging. But I'm just, uh, I'm just saying. You see, now the lap the the voltage is 14. Let me power off the laptop. So the issue it was. Yeah. So you see, the laptop is off. The voltage is still 14. And now if I unplug the charger and plug the charger back, yeah, you can see it's 14 volts. That's because. We reset the BIOS. Obviously, when you disconnect the battery, you reset the BIOS. And uh, in order to load your EC chip with uh, firmware, you have to power on. And the EC chip is speaking with the PD controllers. Obviously, you see on this case, you have to power on the laptop first, so the EC chip can load the firmware from the BIOS. And then the EC chip, it will speak properly with the PD controller. That's the reason why we have 14 volts even if the laptop is switched off. Okay, just to have in mind if you, you know, not all the laptops are like that, but this one looks like, yeah, the EC chip, uh, this is that kind of board, it will not start if you reset the BIOS. Because, you see, usually, if you reset the BIOS on a different motherboard, the motherboard, it will start by itself without pressing the power button. And on that point, the ECGB to load the firmware and to charge fine. But this particular board, uh, no. It will not start if you just reset the BIOS. You have to push the power button. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. Um, uh, you know, it's just a basic job at charging for replacement. Hopefully this, uh, you know, it will be helpful for you if you have the same laptop. I will say thank you for watching and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.